traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. That's the signpost up ahead. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Obsolescence. Obsolescence. You walk into this room at your own risk. Because it leads to the future. Not a future that will be, but one that might be. This is not a new world. It is simply an extension of what began in the old one. It has patterned itself after every dictator who has ever planted the ripping imprint of a boot on the pages of history since the beginning of time. It has refinements, technological advances, and a more sophisticated approach to the destruction of human freedom. The destruction of human freedom. Destruction of human free, human free, human freedom. But like every one of the super states that preceded it, it has one iron rule. Logic is an enemy and truth is a menace. This is Mr. Romney Wordsworth. In his last 48 hours on Earth, he's a citizen of the state, but will soon have to be eliminated. Because he is built out of flesh and because he has a mind. Mr. Romney Wordsworth, who will draw his last breaths in the Twilight Zone. Wordsworth, Romney, field investigation finding obsolescence. You are found to be obsolete. The field investigators in your sector have classified you as obsolete. If you people choose to call that obsolete, the state has proven that there is no God. There is a God. There is no God. There is a God. The state has proven that there is no God. You cannot erase God with an edict. You are obsolete. A lie. No man is obsolete. You have no function. You're an anachronism. I am a reminder to you that you cannot destroy truth. You're a bug, crawling insect. I am a human being. Words, Mr. Wordsworth, that have no substance and no dimension. I'm a human being. I exist. And if I speak one thought aloud, that thought lives, even after I'm shoveled into my grave. Delusions, Mr. Wordsworth. Delusions to make you think you have a strength when you have no strength at all. And the state has no use for your kind. The state has no use for your kind. You waste our time, Mr. Wordsworth, and you're not worth the waste. How do you find, ladies and gentlemen? Obsolete. 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 I concur. The board finds you obsolete. You are to be liquidated. There are several prescribed methods, Mr. Wordsworth. Pills, gas, electrocution. I should like to die with an audience. Ah, Mr. Wordsworth, that can be arranged indeed. It's not unusual that we televise executions. It has an educative effect on the population. I have no doubt. We'll show the people how this obsolete man dies. Come in, Chancellor. Thank you for coming. I'll tell you why I came, Mr. Wordsworth. And that is? To prove to you that the state has no fears, none at all. Oh, what an incredible burden that must be to have to prove that the state isn't afraid of an obsolete librarian like myself. Now, I'll tell you the reason you came. What might that be? I don't fit your formulae. There's been a deviation from the norm. You are the strength. People like me are the weakness. You control and order and dictate. And my kind merely follow and obey. But something's gone wrong, hasn't it? I don't fit, do yes, I? Yes, you fit, Mr. Wordsworth. In a few moments, you'll be cringing and pleading, just like they all do. Oh, yes, indeed, you fit. You've got a worthless, miserable little life, but you've also got an instinct for survival. You've also got an instinct for survival. You've also got an instinct for survival. And in a few minutes, when you feel life slipping away, when you feel that your survival is just a question of minutes, we'll see then which is the stronger, Mr. Wordsworth, the state or the librarian. Well, we're being televised now. It's not unusual that we televise executions, Mr. Wordsworth. Last year in the mass executions, we televised around the clock. 1,300 people were put to death in less than six hours. You never learn, do you? History teaches you nothing. On the contrary, history teaches us a great deal. 
We had predecessors, Mr. Wordsworth, who had the beginnings of the right idea. Yes, Hitler. Hitler, of course. Stalin. Stalin, too. It's Hitler. Hitler, of course. Stalin. Stalin, too. But their era was not one of excess. It was simply not going far enough. Too many undesirables were left around, and undesirables eventually form a core of resistance. So we eliminate them. And people like yourself, they can perform no useful function for the state, so we put an end to them in a few moments. It will be the end of a rather fruitless life, and Mr. Romney Wordsworth goes to his own nirvana. You're not facing the camera, Mr. Wordsworth. Please, Mr. Wordsworth, turn around, face the camera. And don't stifle your emotions. If you feel like crying, go ahead and cry. Or if you want to plead, plead by all means. Some high state official might take pity on you. Yes, that would please you, wouldn't it? A little abject hand-wringing, chest-pounding, falling down on my hands and knees. Suit yourself, Mr. Wordsworth. Unfortunately, I don't have time to be entertained by them when they do come. I have another appointment this evening. You're not going anywhere. I invited you here for a very special reason. Would you like to know the method that I've chosen for my liquidation? Well, in a very few moments, here in this room, a bomb is going off. Let me out of here, someone. Guards, someone, anyone. You're cheating the audience. You're not facing the cameras. You're insane, Wordsworth, if you think they'll let me stay here. They? I ask clarification of the term they. Ah, you mean the state. No, I think they won't help you. I misjudged you, Wordsworth. You underestimated me. You wanted the whole country to see the way that a librarian dies. Well, let the whole country see the way an official of the state dies, too. Face the cameras. Step into the light. Let the whole country see the strength of the state, the resilience of the state, the courage of the state. Let the whole country see the way a valiant man of steel faces his death. You have a nirvana coming up, too. Why don't you just sit down? We'll have a little chat. Just you and me and the great equalizer. Because death is a great equalizer. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow, fend me from them that rise up against me. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Lord, hear my voice. Please, please, if let me out in the name of God, let me out. Yes, Chancellor, in the name of God, I will let you out. office to feel investigators have declared you obsolete 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 i'm not obsolete you are obsolete, obsolete. obsolete. you are obsolete 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 Chancellor, the late Chancellor, was only partly correct. He was obsolete. But so is the state, the entity he worshipped. Any state, any entity, any ideology that fails to recognize the worth, the dignity, the rights of man, that state is obsolete. A case to be filed under M for Mankind in the Twilight Zone. 